Hi guys, today we're doing Korean chop chay. Um, this is a recipe I found on the bag of um, sweet potato ver vermicelli noodles that I bought from a um, Chinese grocery store. So you can find them at Chinese grocery stores or oriental grocery stores. So we start off with uh, the ingredients, half a bag of sweet potato vermicelli um, noodles. And then uh, three quarters of an onion thinly sliced. Uh, one carrot thinly sliced, but I just bought the pre-cut carrots and used that and just estimated. Um, how much to use and uh, one green and one red bell pepper thinly sliced um, half a bag of baby spinach um, you steam it and then you take out all the water out of it and um, squeeze it and then you slice it so I just have it all set up right here so that um, it's ready to go and for the sauce it's uh, one tablespoon of sesame seed three tablespoons of sugar Two, min two cloves minced garlic, um, two tablespoons of sesame seed oil, and a quarter cup of soy sauce. And just mix that together um, and set aside. And this is for the noodle cooking the noodles. Uh, boil your water and once it starts to boil, add the noodles. And once uh, you cook this for about five minutes until it's soft, and once it is cooked, um, you drain it and immediately put, uh, rinse it with cold water. These noodles are like a clear noodle, so they kind of look weird, but they're very tasty. Um, once you get that done, what you do is um, you cut them at four inch increments or else when you stir fry it, it just becomes one glob. If you cut it, it will actually um, mix in with the stir fry and the ingredients while you're stir frying it. Um, also with this recipe, you can, as the ingredients or the recipe I showed earlier, um, they ask for meat. Um, I did try it with ground beef and um, it was delicious. So that one will, uh, you just add in when you're cooking. Um, and then there's also the mushrooms, which I didn't have any on hand because the mushrooms, um, it's easier to buy from a oriental place, uh, grocery store than I can't, couldn't find one in our local grocery store. But once you get it all ready, I like to put it on a baking sheet to, um, take it outside and use my wok, um, just to have everything when, once the wok is hot, just because it's a quick process. Um, I heated the wok and once it's heated, I added a tablespoon of cooking oil. In this case, I use pecan oil. Um, so once it's heated up, you uh, put in all the vegetables except the spinach and stir fry that. Um, if you're cooking with meat, you cook the meat before and then set it aside before you stir fry the, the vegetables. <clears throat> so this is just stir frying the vegetables uh, just until they're tender um, not too soft because you, if you want a little more crunch you because there's a couple more steps to get to that stage uh, just put a hole uh, in the middle of the wok um, make a hole and dump your noodles in the middle um, and if it seems to be sticky um, add a little bit more oil to your pan on the outer side and then uh, mix it up a little. Once you get your noodles all in, stir it up and then um, let it heat up the noodles and then put in um, the last ingredient of um, the spinach. So just be sure and make sure you uh, squeeze all the water out. You don't want the soggy, soggy spinach added here. Um, and once you add the spinach, uh, you 
just continue to stir fry it all together. And if the noodles are sticking, add just a little more oil as needed. But what, uh, what once I saw that if you add the oil to a really hot wok, that's what makes it non-stick. So you wouldn't need as much oil. Um, the next step is to add the sauce. Um, be sure to mix it before you try to add it to the wok because in the next picture you'll see that uh, the sugar was stuck to the bowl so that was kind of hard to get out so just a reminder mix it up before you try to stir it into the wok um, so that was fun to do and I just continue to keep stir frying it and just keep mixing it try to get the noodles mingled in with the veggies and um, at this point if you had meat or ground beef this is where you would add it um, you would just add it all together it has to uh, because it's cooked and it's set aside so the meat would just be added here um, so this was an interesting recipe that we tried and it was delicious so we've seen the instant type but um, I saw the recipe on the noodles I had bought one so I wanted to try this so I hope you guys try it it's very delicious my kids liked it and um, using the pecan oil instead of like regular cooking oil it um, it wasn't so greasy it felt like because uh, sometimes it does come out uh, Chinese food or Korean food or some kind of stir fry just does come out um, greasy and my kids don't like that but um, I hope you enjoy the video and enjoy this dish um, follow me on YouTube Facebook and Instagram so journey Navajo